Retired four-star General Barry McCaffrey is an NBC News military analyst and a career expert in chemical warfare. General, good morning. Good to see you. Morning, Matt. Let me start by asking you this. Some, some sources in the administration have been briefing reporters on background about our possible course of action against the Syrian military, the weapons of choice, and perhaps even the timing of it. What good comes of that? Why are they doing that? Well, it's hard to say. This is, it strikes me as very confused signaling of, of the political intent through military power. Uh, a strike on the Syrian armed forces, which is, the White House has reassured them, is not aimed at getting Assad, not aimed at regime change, not aimed at changing the trajectory of the war, will not, in my view, have any impact on the survivalist instinct of Assad, the Hezbollah militia, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. Um, it doesn't make much sense. Uh, if we gave the U.S. Air Force and Navy 60 days to go after these people, uh, we'd get their he armed helicopters, their aircraft, their artillery. But we're not going to do it with a couple right, days of so, Tomahawk. So, so then let's talk about this scenario. What we're hearing is cruise missiles launched from ships in the Gulf striking military targets like the Air Force, planes, command and control, and radar. And what you're telling me is that will not change at all the balance of power on the ground? Absolutely not. The country's half destroyed. 100,000 people have been killed. Assad and the Alawite of 15 percent of the population believe they will be exterminated if they lose to the Sunni Muslim uh, majority of the country. Uh, it's hard to see why we don't either not use military power or use it effectually. The B-2 bombers may well be in the attack also. They're a hammer. They could make a big difference. But in my judgment, it would take multiple days or weeks to dramatically change the situation on and, the ground. You can't protect innocent civilians from aircraft. And, and let's just be clear, what is prompting this potential military action is the use of chemical weapons by the Assad regime against its own people. And, and yet everybody says the chemical weapons... Uh, deposits or supplies are off the target list, so there's no way that an attack like this can prevent Assad from using chemical weapons in the future. No, that's right. These things get distributed by aircraft bombs, sprayed from helicopters, fired from artillery or rockets, uh, so you have to go after the delivery systems and the command and control. Uh, and by the way, we're doing this, as you know, Matt, without congressional authorization, UN approval, uh, or for that matter, uh, uh, a broad consensus among the Arab League. Will they be with us? Will we see Sunni, Muslim, Egyptian, and Saudi aircraft involved in this operation? I doubt it. And we all wait to see what happens, perhaps even in the next 24 hours. General Barry McCaffrey, General, thanks very much.